few years back, I made a video about series and parallel circuits. I'm not entirely happy with it, so I decided to revamp it. So we have a circuit with a 10 voltage source connected to a resistor by itself and two resistors in parallel. We need to find the voltage of each resistor and current of each resistor. Now if you're watching this video, you should know how parallel circuits and series circuits work. If you don't know, I would recommend viewing my videos on series circuits and parallel circuits. The first step of this problem is to condense the circuit into resistance totals. To do this, we will start by condensing the two resistors in parallel. Now recall that for parallel, 1 over resistance 2 plus 1 over resistance 3 equals 1 over resistance total. So if we multiply 1 over resistor 2 times 4, we get a common fraction we can add to 1 over resistor 3. After adding the two fractions, we get 5 over 60 ohms equals 1 over resistance total 1. After further rearranging the formula, we get 60 ohms over 5 equals resistance total 1. Simplifying this, we get resistance total 1 to be equal to 12 ohms. Now our circuit is simplified to a series circuit with resistance 1 of 45 ohms and resistance total 1 of 12 ohms. Being these resistors are in series, we can add the resistances together to get 57 ohms for the resistance of the total circuit, resistance total 2. Recall that voltage equals current times resistance, or in other words, V equals IR. If we take our 10 volts and divide it by the total resistance of the circuit, we get a current total. In this case, the current total is 0.1754 amps. If we go back to our original circuit, we can see logically that the total current goes through resistor 1. So if we multiply resistor 1 times the total current, we get the voltage of resistor 1. In this case, it equals 7.893 volts. We can take the total voltage minus the voltage of resistor 1 to get the voltage at resistor 2 and 3. So in this case, we get a voltage of 2.107 volts at resistor 2 and resistor 3. We can condense a circuit into a parallel circuit with voltage of 2.107 volts going to resistor 2 and resistor 3. Recall from parallel that the same voltage goes through each resistor. So we can take the voltage over the resistance to get the current of each resistor. In this case, resistor 2's current is 0.14 amps and resistor 3's current is 0.0351 amps. To check our work, we can add the current of resistor 2 and the current of resistor 3 to see if it adds up to resistance total. In this case, it gets pretty close to 0.1754. It's not exactly 0.1754 due to rounding of numbers. That concludes this video. Hopefully I earned a like, share, or subscription. Thanks for watching.